Hello everybody, we are the Manatees, we're an indie pop band from Southampton. I'm Jay. I'm Tyler. I'm James. And I'm James. So the band initially got together through myself. Um, I sort of have a common link with each of these guys. So myself and Jay have been playing music together for loads of years. We've been to school together. Um, and then I sort of know Tyler because we actually went to nursery together. Um, and James is a really good family friend of mine. And um, sort of came about when we needed two new um, people in the band when me and Jay, the other guys left. So me and Jay sort of got in touch with these guys and sort of gone from there really, yeah. Um, I think me and James are definitely friends, um, just because we were school friends and we've known each other for such a long time. But maybe um, Tyler and I and um, the other James and I might not necessarily be just because um, we met sort of through the band. So I don't know. We, I don't know if we would have like talked and met had it not been through the band. <laughs> as much as I love them, I don't know if I'd be friends with them. <laughs> my biggest inspiration when I was young was probably Blood Sugar Sex Magic by the Red Hot Chili Peppers because my guitar teacher owned the book and he taught me pretty much every song on the album, so it was like a big part of my guitar playing early on, so. Um, two big albums which were pretty influential on me were probably the Freewheeling Bob Dylan um, by Bob Dylan and um, Panic Frenchman by Jamie T. Um, just because the two of them are such good lyricists in their own sort of rights. Um, and it's also like particularly the rhythm of Jamie T's um, songs. So it's definitely inspired the way I write my songs, so yeah. Uh, for me, I'd probably say something like The Colour and Shape by The Foo Fighters. Uh, sort of when I was getting into like big guitar music, rock music, and like just the sound of it is so massive, and it just like hooked me straight away. Really, um, I'd say the Balcony by Catfish and Bottomman was one of the um, first gigs that I ever went to see, and uh, I just think it made a massive impact on me when I went and saw it and just heard the music for like, the first time. Well, this morning I sang My Way by uh, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have quite a wide like music range, I think. Um, I don't know, I sort of sing a lot of cringy songs. I've been known to sing um, If I Were a Boy by Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Uh, I just sing like, anything I'm listening to. This morning I was singing um, Landslide by I Wonder, who I'm really liking at the moment. But yeah, just anything that's on my playlist, really. Um, I don't really tend to sing much in the shower. But I sometimes whistle, like Jay, the whistle line <laughs> from um, Young Folks. Yeah, the song's like that one, yeah, I whistle that one because the echo in the bathroom is good. It makes me feel like I should like, whistle, so no, it's pretty cool. Look at me, I'm the same person you see when your liver starts to bleed and you can't. Um. So I think to support us, like before us, I'd love we'd love to have someone like um, the Magic Gang. Um, they're another band from the South Coast who we all love at the moment. Their their, their first few EPs of, of we think are amazing, um, and yeah, I think we'd all like love to get to know them as well. And um, so yeah, that'd be cool. And then um, I think we'd probably then stick someone after us because um, I love a bit of like dance music myself. So someone like Fat Boy Slim would be cool to um, to like close the. Um, the friendships you make in a band are pretty pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that no one really knows about. Um, and it sounds cliche, but it definitely does bring you all closer together. Um, and also just like the feeling of when you're performing and looking around on stage to see like your best mates is a pretty good feeling. And, um, and like no one else sort of knows what it feels like, do they, to, no. to perform live? Yeah, you guess you're quite like, you're in a lucky position there. You get to share some like amazing moments with some of your best mates. So you just 
like look around at someone when like you're playing a gig and it's just going mad and you just look around and you just look at James yeah. you're like what is going on? It's when you make eye contact isn't it? It's yeah. just like the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. It never puts you off, it, like you just have that thing in your brain and like your hands just do, do all the bits and pieces on the guitar and everything and then you're just like so happy and you're just like looking at each other like yes this is cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's nice like having people around that you can just sort of rely on as well yeah. and trust and like when you put it off it you you trust me even more and you know like you're looking around for the security and stuff so it's cool. everybody for listening to our interview on Kit Sound and thank you to Kit Sound for putting it all together as well. Um, we've been the Man of Tees and we hope to catch you all at a gig soon. Yeah.